hello guys in today's video we're going to be learning how to set up dbt on our virtual environment on our window machine so first of all we need to go to our browser and um, type in python.org and on that on under the website we'll come to download and under download we'll choose windows so you click on windows so we'll go to We'll be installing one of the stable versions. So we'll be installing Python. We'll be installing Python installer 64 bit. So it depends on your computer. If you're using 32 bit, you should install 32 bit. And if you're um, using 64 bit, you should install 64 bit. So I'm going to be installing it. Although I have it on my laptop before, but I'm going to be installing it. So let's click on it. So let let me go to, let me go to my um, download. So come to my download. So I've already installed it. So this is Python three point eleven eleven point seven. So I'm going to click it. Double click it. Before we install um, the Python three point eleven point seven. I'll suggest that you check add python.est to part. This will enable you to execute um, Python and pips. Immediately you um, immediately you tap on your command line. So now that we have checked it, let's now install Python. So click on install now. Select yes. So it's going to take a few seconds to install. So it said setup was successful. Now let's close it. Let's go to our um, CMD. So come over here and type um, CMD. CMD, which is our command line. So select the command prompt. And here let's just type pips to ensure that we've installed Python. So you can see that we've installed Python. After setting up our Python, let's um let's navigate into our our document folder. So CD document. So now we need to create we need to create a new folder where we'll install our virtual environment. It is best practice and it is as advisable to create um, DBT in a separate environment. So let's create a new folder first. So I'm going to call this folder. So let's make the dry MKDIR. So let's call this folder project. So we've created our project. Let's check if our project exists. DIR. So we can see our project here. So now let's let's navigate into the project we just created. So let's call it DCD project. So we've navigated into our project. So now let's um let's um install virtual environment in in our folder called project. So pip install virtual env. So I've already installed I've already um install virtual environment on my document folder that's why it's showing me a requirement already satisfied for you it will for you it will install it automatically so so now let's create um let's create um, a separate environment for we to create a separate environment you're going to type virtual env virtual env and i'm going to call this environment venv so click enter so 
so you can see that we've created our environment called Venv. So to activate, to activate our virtual environment, you're going to type Venv forward slash script forward slash activate. So we've activated our environment. Note that the X here is um, a capital letter X. So, so note that the X here is a capital letter X. So the next thing now is to install dbt. So you're going to install pip install and you're going to be installing dbt dbt snowflake because you're going to be using snowflake we're going to be using snowflake as our data warehouse in the upcoming project so dbt snowflake where well, if you're using a different if you're using a different um a different warehouse you can use you can install that specific dbt dbt has series D dbt has series of versions so you can install the one that deem fits for you so dbt snowflake and i'm going to be i'm going to be installing the, the latest version as at today 1.71 1. so click enter So it's going to take few minutes to install. So you can see that dbt dbt has been installed and you can see that it has installed it, uh, it has installed dbt core where we will type a command line and dbt snowflake and we are going to we are going to connect snow we are going to use snowflake connector to connect our dbt to snowflake so this is it guys uh, we've successfully installed dbt on our windows machine thank you for watching and kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and keep learning